this is a, a video study that how to evaluate the common bile duct. The ideal procedure is that you place the probe below the costal costal margin transversely and try to locate a superior mesenteric artery in transfer section. Now once you have located that then rotate the probe clockwise as I am doing and you will come across the uh, port, uh, the common bile duct traveling along the port row in with ecogenic borders and ending at the uh, head of the pancreas. Now this will be your uh, scanning plan. From here, this, this is where I am getting the superior mesenteric artery in transfer section. I have to give a little bit of pressure and in this patient because of he is because he is bulky and uh, now I am going to give a sort of a 60 degree angle uh, rotation to the probe keeping it there where I was seeing the uh, superior mesenteric artery keep it there and rotate the probe approximately 60 degree and you will come across the common bile duct at the head of the pancreas and the benefit in this uh, technique is that you will be seeing both the common bile duct as uh, traversing the posterior inferior surface of the pancreas so pancreatic head will be seen secondly you will be able to evaluate the portal vein as well and in case if there are any lymph nodes in this region they will be uh, seen because this is this will be the region of porta hepatis. Now see it on the ultrasound. Now you, you can note. Now I have played, placed the probe in the epigastric region, coming a bit downwards. Here I have first, I am seeing a cystic area surrounded by ecogenic rim. This one. Now, this is the pancreas. This is the photosuplenic confluence. This area that you are seeing is the superior mesenteric artery in transfer section, and remember it is bounded by ecogenic rim. This is the aorta, and this line, uh, linear structure that you are seeing is the uh, right left sorry left renal vein crossing anterior to the aorta and ending into the IVC these are bowel gases let's see it again do it again here we are now this is the this is this structure is the uh, superior mesenteric artery in transfer section what to do now give a sweep to the probe keeping the angle over the superior mesenteric artery and give a 60 degree sweep here you are once again let's repeat it until we get now this is the view at 60 degree angle from the superior mesenteric artery this is the superior mesenteric artery and this is the head of the pancreas this is the portal vein and this structure anterior to the portal vein is the common bile duct and you can trace its all length. The length of the common bile duct is totally traced. So this is the region of the porta hepatis and uh, again going to magnify a bit so that it becomes even more clear to you. Now again, this is the superior mesenteric artery, this way. Okay, photosuplenic conference, body of the pancreas, aorta, superior mesenteric artery. This is the suplenic vein. This is the uh, porto saplanic conference, body of the pancreas, tail of the pancreas, and this is the 
Now, in this position, when I gave a little pressure to the probe, this is the superior mesenteric artery with the ecogenic uh, border. This is the left renal vein crossing anterior to the aorta. This is the portosuplenic conference. This is the pancreas. Now, for keeping the probe here, I am going to give sweep to the probe, 60 degree sweep to the probe, and you can see that we can clearly see the portal vein. We can measure it from inner to inner border, and we can see the whole length of the common bile duct, and it, it, it traverses the posterior inferior surface of the pancreas, and this is the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section. This is the uh, aorta. This is the IVC. And anteriorly, this window is that of the liver. So this is how we can relate the structures by knowing the vascular anatomy. Thank you very much. Yeah. There is uh, one another way of seeing the, uh, studying the common bile duct, the normal common bile duct. And that is, ask the patient to turn to the left lateral decubitus posture, okay, you see, and then place the probe in the uh, sixth intercostal space, perpendicular to the uh, intercostal space, angling towards the uh, <coughs> a, a posterior or axilla. So, or you just place it, this is the uh, subpostal area, place the probe over here in, at the sixth or fifth, in, fifth intercostal space will be more better, and then slowly and gradually uh, keeping the view on the, in the center of the skin, if, of the screen of your ultrasound machine if possible, bring it, uh, move the probe downwards up to the epigastric region. Now this is the epigastric region, okay? This is the epigastric region, and here, angle the probe, place the probe, bring it down, and here, from here, you will uh, move the probe in this direction, and uh, see up to uh, <coughs> what level you can get the common bile duct because we know that the common bile duct runs anterior to the uh, portal vein throughout its course in the liver. So let's see what we get in the ultrasound. Let's see. Now here I am at the intercostal space. And you can see that uh, I am getting a beautiful view of common bile duct running anterior, coursing anterior to the portal uh, <coughs> vein. Now this is the portal vein. This is the common bile duct, and this tiny cystic area is the uh, hepatic artery intercostal section. This is the liver, and just see where I am. You just see where I am. Now I have placed the probe. It's the fifth intercostal space. This is the intercostal space, and at right angles to it, I have placed the probe, and I'm getting this view. So, after getting this view, you can even move the probe anteriorly upwards, <coughs> follow the common bile duct up to whichever level you can, as per your expertise. Now I will like I will move it down. I am moving the probe down below the costal margin, and now I am at a 60 degree angle to the uh, at the epigastric region. See where I am. Now I am from initially I was here. Now I brought the probe over here, and see what we get in this. Uh, scanning plan. Now remember, a little bit of angling is required, pivoting is required at times. It will vary from the patient to patient. I have intentionally chosen a, a thin, lean patient 
because always practice on thinly in patient and uh, then uh, when you ex expertise in the normal you will get you will it will be easy for you to evaluate the pathologies now let's see from this angle below the costal subcostal space at right angle 60 degree angle if this is what i am seeing this is the common bile duct this is the hepatic artery in half the section and this is the portal vein this is the aorta now you see this is the region of aorta hepatis the significance of seeing this area is if there is any lymph node you will come across it if there is any uh, pathology relating to the portal vein if it's dilated you will come to know about that if there is any mass in this region you will come about uh, you will come to know about that and if you see that the common bile duct is dilated then you can move upward and see if there is any uh, evidence of intrahepatic bile duct ectasia. So this is the study of an, how we study a normal uh, common bile duct. Here I am above the, again to show you that I am in the intercostal space maneuvering in this way and then I move downwards and you, I, you will see me placing the probe over here. Let's do it again and then from here I move over here. This is the direction in this particular patient. It will vary from patient to patient but the basics are same. So now from the subposter region, this is the subposter region and here I get the if you see the beautiful view of the common bile duct and uh, the portal vein, the hayot. And from here now, I am moving upwards again. As this is the portal vein, this is the common bile duct. And as I move into the subcostal space, I can trace this uh, common bile duct. This is the common bile duct in its intrahepatic. Uh, in our course. This is the intrahepatic course and uh, the, in, at the level of uh, intercostal space you will get the intrahepatic course and below that you will get the extrahepatic course of the common bile duct. Now you see this is the uh, extrahepatic course. This is the extrahepatic course of the common bile duct. This is hepatic artery, this is portal vein. And when I move upwards, I see that now I can study the uh, intrahepatic part of the common bile duct. This is the common bile duct as the hypogenic portal runs anterior to the portal vein. This is the IVC. Thank you very much.